This hopefully is my final video. I hope someone has benefited from it. And I'm going to wrap up and or finish the um, my notion of planting roses ahead of time and everything else. It is not going to be about my citrus, the peppers, or anything else, okay? It's going to be about the roses. And this is the final chapter and perhaps the last video I ever do of anything. But I'm going to share with you. I Again, I say I am the unmaster gardener. I don't know what I'm doing, and hopefully that's what's going to be what's going to be my salvation. But, uh, again, I'm using Mark Zuckerberg and Facebook, YouTube, and all the rest to try and share what little bit I don't know. Now, if you saw my previous video, um, I had just gotten these tea roses, which I have not seen for sale. Nine! Still in the moon. Uh, I have not seen for sale in over 20 years because the knockout rose has in fact knocked them out of favor. Nobody wants regular tea roses because they are difficult to grow. In my climate, uh, it's impossible because it's far too much humidity. But again, I have shown you the whole process. And again, this is going to be one of the shortest videos I've ever done. So um, I'm going to finalize this by showing you and sharing with you, again, the um, my final stage, which is to bakerize it. And in bakerizing it, I'm going to do a couple of odd things nobody else ever does. First, I am going to add to the fertility of this plant, nine, uh, by adding banana to contribute to the potassium in the soil. I would rub that around a bit, whatever. And, uh, of course, I would put it all around. But this is a great use for rotten bananas or banana peels or whatever. So, um, give it a try or not. I don't care. <laughs> now, in addition to this, since I bakerize it, the whole planting, I am also, having been an organic gardener for much of my existence. I'm going to do what may to some people seem a little odd. I am going to sprinkle a little anti-insect kind of stuff in here. So, um, Bugs don't like onions, and perhaps the deer won't either. I've got two herds in my backyard. So, um, I'm adding onion seeds directly into this planting to deter deer, bugs, insect, and disease. In addition, I'm also going to add get this again this is a baker notion i don't see paul smith or anybody else doing this <laughs> but i'm also going to add garlic if onion is good garlic has got to be better so um and again this is not just a matter of a deterrent but hey this is food and when you're on a limited budget or whatever Soil is very expensive. I know, I just bought 10 more bags of it to do these plants. I'm gonna, just for a little bit of serendipity, I'm gonna even throw a peach pit in there. I don't waste anything. So, um, I think 
for the most part. Now, if you have been here, most all of these uh, rose bushes were naked. They had no growth whatsoever. And now it's growing very prolifically. Actually, too fast for the DMV or the uh, District Maryland area. It's growing too prolifically. But if these had been outside in my freezing weather, they would be dead. That new growth would all die. So, uh, I can't tell you any more than this. Since from the beginning I've told you I am the non-master. I am the non-gardener. Little water now since it's picking up so fast. Otherwise I would have not watered at all. Perhaps I'll put some orange trees in there or some <laughs> grapefruit, banana. But uh, that's it, folks. I hope you've enjoyed this and hopefully you can get something out of it. Um... And no doubt I have made many mistakes, but keep in mind what I have said. Honestly, I am the unmastered gardener. I am not a master of anything, but uh, I be do believe in sharing. So, anyway, side chin.